A lot of you have been asking for a hunting video. Well, today you're gonna to get one. We have a coyote problem. Uh, we have had uh, three altercations uh, inside of our yard with, with our, our animals. The neighbors are losing animals. Uh, there's just not a lot of hunting pressure on them out here and they're getting bold, more bolded. They're getting uh, more aggressive when they're actually coming in the yard. So we're gonna set up a call and we're gonna thin the herd. So this ought to about do it. I got a nice clear area with a rise. I can see it from my hide over here and I don't have any obstructions. I try to put close by a, a tree or something that I can hit with a rangefinder so I can get a real accurate distance and get dialed in. But I don't want to be next to a tree so it can't, you know, get behind it and you can't see it. So let's get the uh, call set up and we'll go up and find ourselves a hide. So I certainly, I don't take delight in killing anything. You know, I grew up hunting, I didn't think too much about it, just didn't really know any different. I guess the older I get, the more I, I say it bothers me, but I certainly don't take it lightly. I watched some, some of those hunting videos of guys down south and laughing and, you know, killing animals and, and well, it seems to me to be disrespectful, and I'm not going to get all new agey on you or anything like that. But you know, it is a it is a life. It's not something that's pleasant. It's not something that, that I, it's just not something that I understand taking pleasure from and laughing and making light of and carrying on. I think that that's I think it's kind of disgraceful, uh, to be honest with you. But uh, well, let's get on with it. So. Um, I'm gonna be using an electronic call. Uh, there's lots of these out there, I don't know. I'm not the expert on it, but they do work pretty good. So what this is, is a uh, it's a very loud speaker that uh, is hooked up to a remote. So I can turn this guy on here. And uh, this remote, I can control from about 400, 400 yards away. I'll put, I'll put our hide up there, um, 350, 375, maybe 400 yards. Uh, I'm well upwind and this is a spot where they come through oftentimes this is kind of their egress as they come up and, and head up to their house and have been getting up into our space so uh, this remote's got um, lots of different calls uh, it's got uh, like a woodpecker stressed woodpecker and cottontail and jackrabbit and stressed crow and fawn and it's got coyote here I can probably I'll turn that down a little bit there's a the crow So what that does is that calls them in from a long way because the speaker's so loud. So to, to augment that is a uh, kind of a little visual aid. Here, this is a little uh, tail spinner. And so you take the spike off of here. And then you sink this in the ground. And in combination of your, uh, of your call, you can turn this on and this this will flip around and simulate uh, a stressed animal. Something is wounded. The coyotes are scavengers, so anything that is easy prey for them, or they think is not going to fight back, or it's going to be, you know, easy lunch, that they'll come right after it. So this here will flip and intermittently, and it, so once they hone in on this, they come right in, and then we'll be ranged here and sitting up there, and and 
make short work of them here. So let's put this all in and we'll head back up there and build our hide. So I don't know if it matters or not, but I typically will choose a, a call of a critter that we have around here rather than something we don't. Like we don't have any jackrabbits. So, but we do have cottontails and we do definitely have crows. So what I'll do is I can control this up from the hide too. So what we'll do is we'll just turn this on here, get it doing its thing. And then uh, let's choose two calls. Let's go with a uh, coyote female and a uh, cottontail. We're about 400 yards up. Target's been, uh, or the call's been going for probably about uh, 10 minutes or so. So we'll set up our shooting position, get our ranges, dope our rifle, and uh, get ready. It won't take long. It's pretty cold today, so I brought a, I brought a shooting mat. It's like 21 degrees. I didn't want to lay on the frozen ground. Sometimes you can be out here for a while waiting. I'm trying to keep an eye on my target down there. They'll they'll surprise you. They'll come in quick if they're close. So we gotta get our ranges. First thing we gotta do is get our environmentals here so we can get the dial the dope the di dope dialed into the rifle. I don't have anything in my book for this particular as cold as it is and the pressure that we have. That's the nice thing about the kestrels, it does all that for you. We'll let that acclimate and then we'll uh, let's get our ranges. You can see them coming pretty good. You know, the eye picks up motion, and I've got huge open, open field here, so we can, we can see anything moving here. So this is the reason why I put the, uh, the call next to that tree, so I can range on that tree right there. So from our hide here, we're 380 yards. Yeah, 380 yards. So, we get our dope here. What do I say, 370, we'll go 375. That's 1.76, so we'll go down 1.8. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we're at 380 yards. Shooting a um, 6.5 Creedmoor with a Leupold Mark IV, first focal plane that's uh, 6.5 to 24. Set my parallax, I can see it right there. I'm gonna shoot about 14 power then. Yeah, looks good. Don't have really much wind to speak of, so not too worried about that. Hear the call calling. Get on the tail there. All right, we're ready. 
That should be no problem at this distance. This rifle, this barrel settled in. And on a good day, I'm shooting half him away. Not every day, <laughs> but on a good day. Go!